In this video, we are going to review two essential PTZ Optics camera tools for Mac users. The first tool is our IP address settings tool. This tool will allow you to search your local area network for any PTZ Optics camera on your network and remotely configure your camera's IP address settings. This is useful for quickly setting up your PTZ Optics camera with a static IP address or setting up the camera for DHCP functionality. The second tool we will review is the PTZ Optics camera control software for Mac. This software provides an intuitive PTZ camera control setup that you can use with up to eight IP connected cameras over your local area network. You can download the Mac IP address settings tool at ptzoptics.com downloads. The first time that you open this application, you may notice a security warning. If you see this warning, you will need to access your system's security and privacy settings to allow this app to be open. Just go to the options and right click and select open from the context menu. Proceed through the warning message and in the future you will be able to open this with a simple double click. Also ensure that your Mac OS is up to date with Mojave. Once you have opened this application, you can select your computer's network interface card and press the search button. This should identify the cameras available on your local area network. If you are just about to set up a PTZ Optics camera on your network, you may find a camera with a default IP address of 192.168.100.88. We highly suggest that you set up a static IP address for this camera on the same range as your computer. Alternatively, you can set up your camera in DHCP mode, where it will receive an available IP address from your DHCP enabled router. To set up a static IP address for your camera, you can right click a camera in this application and press config. Inside the configuration area, you can select a mode. Select the manual mode to set up the static IP address. In the first text field, you should enter the camera's static IP address that you would like to set. Then you can enter the net mask, gateway, and first DNS information. Once all of this information is set up correctly, you can press the set button. You will now see your camera reboot, and once it's done, the camera will have a new IP address. Now that your camera is set up with a new IP address, let's use the PTZ Optics IP camera control software to take control of it. You can download this software at ptzoptics.com apps. Once you have installed the software, you can open the application and enter your camera's IP address in the settings menu. You can enter the IP address and the name of the camera in the IP settings area. Now all we need to do is simply click the camera that we want to control and we'll be all set. If you are looking for video preview, try using the free open broadcaster software app available for Mac at obsproject.com. Let's open up OBS and pull in an IP camera feed from our PTZ Optics camera. To do this, we will click on the media source, input, and uncheck all of the default boxes. In the input field, enter RTSP colon slash slash your camera's IP address slash one. The slash one after the RTSP information tells OBS that you want to pull in a high definition stream. A slash two would tell OBS to pull in the standard definition stream. Depending on your network, the standard definition stream may work better for you. So that's it. Now you've set up your PTZ Optics camera with a static IP address taking control of it with your PTZ control software, and you have an IP video feed inside OBS to preview your video. Here's one last quick tip. If you'd like to set up your PTZ optics camera in DHCP mode using your IR remote control, you can simply press pound star four. The camera will reboot, and once it does so, it will receive an IP address from your DHCP enabled router. You can press star pound four to display the IP address the camera has received on the right over the video. And that is it. If you have any questions along the way, feel free to reach out to the PTZ Optics support team or submit a support ticket at help.ptzoptics.com.